In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a candle effect inside Houdini 19. And it's a little bit tricky to do it in Houdini 19. So that's why I created this lecture to show you how to do that. So let's close the flipbook. And this is my flame. I'm going to delete that. And here we have a candle geometry. I created that inside Houdini. So let's create a geometry. Basically, before I click on the billway smoke, I'm going to show you how to create that in the geometry. So let's name it flame and let's dive inside. And here you can right click and type pyro configure billway smoke. So if I click on that, you see we get the same notes. This is another way to do it. Just I want to show you how to do it in another way. So let's delete the pyro look. I don't need that in this lecture. The pyro solver will do the job. So first of all, let's create a sphere to use it as a meter. Let's delete the torus and let's connect that. Let's go ahead and move it up. And let's scale it to about zero three. Somewhere here. Now let's go ahead to the render. And if I hit play, you see we get a smoke. And if I go to the pyro source, and if I scroll down, you can see here we have the density and the temperature. We need another attribute called burn. So we can click on the plus icon. And you see here we created another one. We can change that to a burn. So now we created a burn field too. Or you can do it in another way. Let's close that. And if I come to the initialize, I can click on source burn. And this is going to create a burn attribute for you. I want to talk before I continue, I want to talk about the scale. So as you see, the candle scale is big. It's about two meters. If you scale it down too much like centimeters, the pyro solver can't work properly. So you need to have a good scale in the scene, like one meter or two meter. Don't make it 100 meter. So it's not a building, it's a candle. So let's go ahead to the flame again and let's continue. Let's go ahead and to the pyro solver. And in the pyro solver, we need to do another step. We need to go to the quick setups and click on initialize fire. So basically what this does is going to create a source for you. Here we have the burn field that we created in the pyro source and this is going to assign that to the flame in the pyro solver and if i go ahead and play and again we don't see the fire we need to do another step we need to go to the volume rasterize attribute you remember i talked about that before this is going to convert the fields from the points to a volume and if I come over here, you see, we don't see the burn. We have the density, we have the temperature, we have the velocity too. We can go ahead there and click on burn, or you can type the burn here. So now we converted the burn from the points to a volume. So now if I hit play, let's go ahead and select the pyro. So now you see we have the fire effect. It's a little bit tricky for beginners. So if you didn't understand, please ask me in the discussions. So here we have it. So I want to make some adjustments like going to the pyro solver and I'm going to to the shape and then I'm going to turn off the wind. And now the fire going up. And the turbulence is too strong. I'm going to select the adjust vector and then let's set that to one to decrease the uh, turbulence on the uh, fire. 
and you see the flame is too big so we can change that from the pyro solver under the fields you need to scroll down you can see we have the temperature now we have the flame too so let's set that to one and let's test it let's change that to 0 0.2 and here we have less flame as you see we have a lot of smoke so we can decrease the value of the smoke by going to the sourcing and decrease it from here if you go to the shape to the uh, look sorry and if you decrease that from here you see we get rid of the smoke but the solver is still calculating the smoke in the container so this is not going to help you to decrease the simulation time so we need to go to the sourcing and decrease the emission of the density so let's set that to 0 0.2 or i think one we should set that to one 0 0.1 and we have less smoke now let's go ahead and change the voxel size to 0 0.0 let's say 3 to add more resolution we have a couple of issues here so you see we have some sharp edges there and they are not smooth so that's because of the sub steps so if i come to over the sub steps i can set that to two now the pyro solver will solve the smoke two steps in one frame so if i play it you see now we have smooth edge there of course the simulation will take longer to calculate too and if you look at the emitter we don't have a smooth edge because we need to adjust the volume of the emitter so if i go to the volume rasterize here you can change that so let's decrease that to 0 0.04 to make the emitter smoother the edge of the emitter is smoother so now you see we have a smooth edge let me show you again if i increase this value let's say to 0 0.2 you see we have very sharp edges if I set that to 1, we get better and better, 0 0.05. We have nice rounded edge. So let's go ahead and continue. As you see, it still doesn't look like a flame of the a candle. So let's go ahead to the pyro solver. And if I come over the shape you'll notice here we have viscosity basically this is going to make the smoke or the fire very dense so if i set that to 0, 0.0 let's say 5 and let's hit play now you see the fire is thicker than before now it looks like more like a candle let's go ahead and play it again to see the result 